Hi, welcome to the third part on indices. So by the end of this lesson, we should be able to demonstrate the third law of indices. Okay, so the third law of indices. Let's start with an example before we get to the law. Say I have a number, so 4 raised to the power of 3, and I'm having that all squared. Then we should know that what we're doing is we're multiplying 4 to the power of 3 by itself, like this. And then this is just the first law of indices. We're just adding the threes up, so we get 4 raised to the power of 6. All right, let's take another example. We've got 10 raised to the power of 5. Again, in brackets, that is all cubed, all raised to the power of 3. And we know we're multiplying this by itself three times. So it's going to be the first law of indices again. So we're going to have 10 raised to the power of 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 10 to the power of 15. Now, what you might recognize if you're pretty quick on this is that what we're getting is a number in the index that's a multiplication of these two indices here. So what we're actually doing is we're getting the base and we're adding, we're sorry, we're multiplying the indices up. So 3 times 5 is 15. And that brings us to the third law of indices, which states that when we have a number raised to a power, all in brackets, raised to a power again, we're going to take that base and we're going to multiply the powers. Um, let's have a few examples of this, yeah? 6 to the power of 4, all in brackets, raised to the power of 3. So we're going to have 6 raised to the power of 4 times 3, which is going to be 6 to the power of 12. Pretty simple, yeah? Okay, let's have 12 raised to the power of 10, in brackets, all raised to the power of 5. We're going to multiply the 10 and the 5 together. And we're going to have 12 raised to the power of 50. How about this? x to the power of 3, all in brackets, raised to the power of 2. And we're going to have x to the power of 6. Quite straightforward. How about this one? y raised to the power of 3, in brackets, all of that is then raised to the power of x. <laughs> Well, we're just going to follow this, and we're going to see that we're going to multiply the 3 and the x together, so we're going to have y to the power of 3x.